So we're gonna be playing blindfolded dodgeball. One person will be blindfolded. The other person can guide them by grabbing their arm, grabbing their shoulders, grabbing their hand. But remember, when you point at something, they're blindfolded, they're not gonna be able to see it. Some safety rules are no overhand throws, no running, no kicking the ball. And if you do underhand, it's an underhand toss, not a softball fast pitch. Round one, we're just gonna walk around and guide the person. Round two, it'll be and get hit as many times as you want. In round three, we are gonna do an elimination game. If you get hit once, you're out. Remember, when you bend over to pick a ball up and you're close to the wall, you might hit your head on the wall, you might hit your head on the bleachers, um, or other objects that might be in the gym, so be aware of your surroundings. Only the blindfolded person can pick up the ball and throw the ball. However, if you and your partner get hit, that counts as a hit. That was round one. Now the person that was not blindfolded will now be blindfolded. They're gonna walk around to get a feel for being blindfolded. Then we will do non-elimination, get as many hits as you can, and then round. Then the next round will be single elimination. If you or anybody in your team gets hit, you're out and you sit down. Some things people do to cheat is they do look below the blindfold. Some people are running, some people are throwing overhand, so I am correcting that. The other thing people are doing to cheat is only the person who's blindfolded can pick up the ball. So the other people who are the partners should not be picking up the ball. Only the blindfolded person should pick up the ball.